Meantime, the political landscape here in Michigan has been shaken up this afternoon as Senator Debbie Stabenow announces she will not seek re-election in 2024. She was first elected to the Senate back in 2000, and she has become the third most senior Democrat in that chamber. Christy McDonald spoke with the senator today about her life in politics and why she's making the decision. She joins us now. Christy. Well, Karen, many of us here in Michigan can't remember a time where Senator Stabenow didn't hold public office at the state or congressional level. She's had a hand in policies that affect all of our lives in this state, but she feels it's time to make way for a new generation of leaders and finished her last two years of work in the Senate. At, at this point in time, there's really two things that I've been thinking about. Um, I think it's, it's a, a good time to pass the torch to the next generation. We have wonderful leaders in Michigan, and I've always felt uh, it's important to, to be part of opening those doors, creating opportunities, and passing the torch. And for me personally, uh, my mom is 96, uh, and I uh, have five wonderful grandchildren. And, I, and certainly for a mom who's been my biggest biggest supporter, it's important for me to have the flexibility while doing my job the next two years, uh, not to have the rigors of a campaign, but to be able to be there for her when she needs me. Talk to me a little bit about some of the things that have really impacted you in terms of causes when we look at Great Lakes issues, when we talk about agriculture, the farm bill. The I'm proud to be a leader and have been a leader on advanced manufacturing and new vehicles, on agriculture and bringing our type of agriculture into the farm bill. Um, mental health, transforming uh, mental health to be a part of health care, not something separate, is a very important thing for me. Can you give me um, a specific story? of your time in the Senate where you sat back one day and everyone left your office and you said, yes, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. There, there have been many, but I do have to say, um, having worked for 10 years with my Republican colleague, uh, Roy Blunt, who just retired, um, on transforming community mental health services as part of the gun bill we passed last summer. And that was a moment when I said, this really, really matters. You have been a trailblazer for women in politics. Um, describe, I guess, the road or the path, how hard it has been for you. I started at 24. I was a graduate student at Michigan State and got involved in an effort to save the local nursing home, the Ingham County Medical Care Facility. And then I was urged to run for office and one thing led to another, but there were not many doors open. You know, I felt like I had to bust down the door. In the early days, it was like you could have one woman, you know, there could be one, but that's all. And so uh, power in the to contribute comes from number two, number three, number four. And so I hope I have been able to uh, bust open a lot of doors and keep them open. In leaving the Senate, what do you worry about? Well, in, in my next two years, I want to make sure I'm, I'm part of showing people that uh, we can govern, we can get things done across the aisle. It was really a great conversation with her. And Senator Stabenow says she'll be working on a new farm bill as well in the next two years. Very important to her. Obviously, when you take a look at her legacy, uh, yeah. the next question, who is going to take the seat? Republican, Democrat, obviously, everyone's going to be fighting for this spot. Oh, yes. I mean, the conversations that are happening <laughs> right. today, Karen, I've, I got to be amazing. And Senator Stabenow would not share with me who she's talking to. She says she's part of a lot of conversations. The list is starting to grow of who might run for that open seat. We're going to take a closer look at the politics surrounding this, the loss of clout in Washington with her departure from the Senate. It's all coming up today on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock. I like that moment that you talked about what she did for women in general. Yeah. Despite your politics, opening the doors and making a change really Absolutely. Was she has huge. been in office for yeah. almost 50 years in some it. form right. or another. So. It started at 24. I didn't know it was that long. Wow. All right. Thanks, Christy.